Hi everybody, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're going to revisit my baked hot wings video from 12 years ago. I'm gonna show you how I make these delicious hot wings in my oven with no extra work, no deep frying, and they're super delicious. I can't wait to show you how these all come together. Today we are revisiting, remaking my video from 12 years ago where I shared how I make oven baked hot wings. Um, these are some of Rick and my kids' favorite hot wings. We do have a deep fryer and I have done those before, but you know what? The deep fryer is a pain in the butt. It's a lot of maintenance and peanut oil is not cheap. So we decided that we're gonna go ahead and remake our oven baked hot wings video because there's no better time to make hot wings than for the big game. And they are definitely a healthier alternative because there's plenty of fat in these wings to keep them nice and moist and tasty. And then the skin's gonna get crispy. We're gonna bake them in a, in a pretty hot oven and we're gonna season them up and then we're gonna shake them with some sauce and it's all gonna be delicious. So I have about four pounds of chicken wings. These came whole. I cut them up, cut off the wing tips, and I cut the flat from the drumette. And that was pretty easy. If you're, if you wanna know how I did that, I do have a video on how I do that. And it's pretty, it's pretty old, but it's still pretty informative. But we're just gonna pop these in a big Ziploc bag. We're gonna season these up with a teaspoon of smoked paprika and a tablespoon of, um, uh, it's a garlic pepper blend. You can use whatever you like. If you have a favorite chicken rub or rib rub or something like that, that's all gonna work here. Whatever, if you just wanna use onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper, that's gonna work too. And then we're gonna put these on a baking pan. We're gonna spray it with some nonstick cooking spray just so that everything, you know, gets along and it's all gonna be wonderful. So I'm just gonna go ahead, put these wings in this big bag and I'm just gonna stir up my spices just so they're blended up. So if you have a favorite, go ahead and use it. I'm just gonna go ahead and toss it all in there, zip up the bag, just get it so it's nice and evenly distributed. That's all you have to do. I love making baked wings because it takes, it really does take the hard part out of it. Then all you have to do is get your favorite barbecue sauce, mix up your favorite, you know, buffalo sauce if that's what you're going, and that's what we are doing. And you just shake them up in a container and they're good to go. Now I have a uh, foil and parchment and I have nonstick cooking spray and I'm gonna give this a good, healthy dose. And then just dump your wings out and then arrange them. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just spread them out. I'm not gonna line them up all nice and neat because it's just not necessary. Just make sure they're in a single layer. And I have to say, these wings, not the best looking things I have to admit, but I'm lucky that we can even get wings, so we'll be happy with them just the way they are. All right, my oven is preheated to 425 degrees. I'm gonna pop these in the center rack for about 20 to 25 minutes. I'll bring you back when they're done and I'll show you what they look like and we'll get ready to make our sauce. Okay, so these baked in the oven for about 30 minutes, but I ended up taking the temperature on these drumettes and they were perfectly fine. And when they reached 165 degrees, I changed the oven over to my broiler and I broiled these for five minutes on the one side, then I flipped them over, I broiled them until they were nice and brown and crispy on the other. So now I'm gonna take half of these and I'm gonna put just a traditional buffalo sauce on them and I'm gonna show you how I make that. All right, so I'm gonna make a traditional buffalo wing sauce. And we all know buffalo wings are named for Buffalo, New York, where they were created at the Anchor Bar. Not because they have anything to do with the buffalo mammal. <laughs> So what I have here is one stick of butter, one cup of Frank's Red Hot, and that's as simple as it gets. Now, if you like your hot wings, like atomically hot, then you can add habanero sauce in here, you can add Tabasco, you can add Chipotle sauce, whatever floats your boat and helps you get to your desired heat level. If you really like to break the Scoville scale, then you go for it. Go ahead and put some Carolina Reaper sauce in here and 
be my guest. Mm -hmm. We pretty much just like a traditional buffalo wing in our house. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go grab some wings and then we're gonna shake this up. All right, so I went ahead and I divided my wings up evenly and we put half in the buffalo sauce. I'm gonna put half with barbecue sauce, but we're gonna treat them both the same way. I have a nice big plastic container with a lid. Make sure it's tight fitting. This snaps on really, really tight and then just give it a shake. Get those nicely coated. Ta-da! Buffalo wing. And then you just put them in your little serving dish and everybody will be happy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the, bar the barbecue wings the same way and we'll come back and we'll show you what everything looks like when it's all done. Well, there you have it. Our buffalo wings, barbecue wings, oven baked, super simple. Sometimes they're gonna take a little bit longer. And the secret here, I really do believe, is the broiling. Now I used to go ahead and dredge these in some cornstarch and bake them on a rack. But honestly, that is completely unnecessary. And why add extra work and extra dishes and extra scrubbing and all of that? Put them on a a sheet pan, pop them in a hot oven, and the last five or 10 minutes, broil them on one side, flip them, broil them on the other, and then sauce them up to your heart's desire. Do you want to taste one? Mm, okay. Well, one. Well, here you go. You can tell me how they turned out. They're hot. Okay, that tastes like buffalo wing. It's delicious. Oh wow, they're really moist. Mm -hmm. You guys, these are fabulous. You're not going to miss deep frying them one little bit. They're really good. Popping them under the broiler and getting that skin crispy brown is really the secret here. You are gonna love these. I hope that you give these a try and I hope that you love them. And until next time, happy eating.